So there's a question that comes up, um, you know, usually for younger people who need a parnasa. Is a person allowed to be a waiter in a non-kosher restaurant? Um, so first of all, lechatchila, there's no question that if a person can avoid it, if a person can make a parnasa in a different way, and a person has another job available, so it's preferable to avoid and uh, not to get into the shaila. That's first of all. Uh, but let's say a person doesn't have another choice and they need a job and the only job available is to be a waiter in a trade restaurant. So is is it us or, or is there you know a halachic way uh, that it might be permissible? So um, there's really two issues at hand. The first issue is one that we discussed before about the lawyer advance, uh, the, drafting the advance directive that there's a you know an issue potentially of helping another Jew do an avera, right? Let's say a Jewish person comes into the restaurant, so obviously you know the waiter would have to serve them. They couldn't refuse to serve them, uh, you know, because they were Jewish. So then you know is there a problem there of lifnei iver of giving the Jewish people non-kosher food? So like we discussed in the past, that that's something that we can be lenient on. Uh, that the Shah holds that there's no Isser of Misayaya, since the, the person can access this food without you, um, without this waiter, without this Jewish waiter, so it's not Lifnei either, it's, it's Misayaya, and since the person is, you know, not a religious Jew, so we can rely on the Shah that there's no Isser of Misayaya. However, over here we have a different issue, um, and that is the fact that Basar Bechalov, meat and milk that have been cooked together, are Asr Behana'a. Right? We learn in the Torah that meat and milk that are cooked together, it's usher to cook them. It, if they're cooked, it's usher to eat them. And if they're cooked, not only is it usher to eat them, but it's usher to derive any benefit from them whatsoever. It's usher behana'a. Uh, so that would be a more serious problem, right? If a person in the what restaurant orders a cheeseburger, now even a non-Jew, so I, as a Jew, would not be allowed to go ahead and, you know, take that cheeseburger and serve it to the person. I'm like, you know, I have uh, invested, interested in, on the contrary, I have a responsibility to, like, you know, destroy, uh, you know, Bas Bechal. So that's that's a separate Shiloh. Um, and over here, there's also uh, room for leniency. Uh, it's very interesting. But the Noda Yehuda, who was one of the Gdole Aposkim in Europe before the war, so the Noda Yehuda holds that there's no Isser of Bas Bechalov on Basar Nevelov. Uh, meaning the only time that there's an iser of basar b'chal of Torah is when the meat is kosher. Um, if the meat is not kosher, even if it's from a kosher animal, but if it wasn't shechted, so the meat isn't avela, so then the Nodabi Uda held that there's no iser of basar b'chal of in that case. Uh, so even though we don't always rely on this no of Yehuda, in a situation like this, where, again, a person needs it for their parnasa, and uh, the issue would be benefiting from Bas Bechalav, so the post said that a person could be so on the no of Yehuda, and uh, rely that this treif meat cooked with milk is not Bas Bechalav, and therefore permissible to serve and benefit from.